Hello students, welcome to Lucky Gate. It is a question in Gate 2021 from the subject General Aptitude and ask it for two marks. Now coming to the question, the number of units of a product sold in three different years and then respective net profits are presented in the figure. Here in year one, 100 units are sold and the net profit is 240, it is in rupees. And in year two, 200 units are sold, net profit is 296. In year three, 300 units are sold and net profit is 210. And also given the cost per unit in year three was rupees one. Cost per unit in year three, which is equals to rupees one which was half the cost per unit in year two. In year two, it should be two rupees. So the statement, which was half the cost per unit in year two. So in year two, if the cost is two, in year three, it is half the cost. The cost per unit in year three was the one third of the cost per unit in year one. It means in year one, what should be the cost per unit rupees three, which is the three times then year three or else year three cost is one third of year one. The taxes were paid on the selling price at 10%, 13% and 15% respectively. It means in year one, the tax is 10%. In year 2, it is 13%. In year 3, it is 15%. Net profits is calculated as the difference between the selling price and the sum of cost and taxes paid. Here, we write the formula that is provided in the question that is net profit equals to selling price minus the sum of cost plus taxes. Now coming to the question, the ratios of the selling price in year 2 to the selling price in year 3. It means we need to find the selling price in year 2 and also selling price in year 3 and we need to find the ratio between them. Now coming to the question, in year 2, Two, how do we calculate the net profit? Net profits are given in the bar diagram. Here the net profit in year 2 in rupees, it is mentioned 296, which is equals to selling price we have to calculate in year 2. In year 2, selling price I am assuming it as X minus. How do we calculate the cost? Because we have sold 200 units in year 2 and you know that cost per unit in year 2 is rupees 2. It means 200 units are sold each of cost 2 and taxes were paid based on selling price. Selling price is X. How much tax it is paid? 13%. It means 0.13X rupees is paid as a tax. Now, when you solve this equation, what will you get? 296 equal to x minus 400 minus 0.13x. This minus 400 when comes to the left side, it becomes 696, which is equals to x minus 0.13x will give you 0.87x. And when you solve this equation, it is X is becoming 696 by 0.87, which is equals to 800. It means the selling price in year 2, which is equals to 800. Now we need to calculate selling price in year 3. In year 3, the selling price we need to calculate the net profits in year 3 is equals to 210 which is equals to selling price we assume it is y minus 
cost plus taxes the cost you calculate based on the number of units sold which is equals to 300 units sold and each unit in year 3 which is of cost 1 300 into 1 plus taxes were paid based on the selling price now the tax in year 3 is 15 percent the selling price we assumed as y so the taxes paid on the selling price y which is equals to 0.15 y now when you solve this equation you are going to get 210 equal to y minus 300 minus 0.15 y if this minus 300 goes to the left side it is going to become 510 which is equals to y minus 0.15y which is equals to 0.85y and y equals to 510 by 0.85 which is equals to 600. It means the selling price in year 3 which is equals to 600. Now we calculated selling price in year 2 and selling price in year 3. Now we need to find the ratio between selling price in year 2 with year 3. Now selling price in year 2 which is equals to 800 and in year 3 which is equals to 600. When you find the ratio between year 2 and year 3 selling prices which is equals to 4 is 3, right? 200 fours are 200 three cha. So the ratios between the selling prices of year 2 to the selling price in year 3, which is equals to 4 is 3, which is an option D. Thank you, friends. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.